Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do 3.11 of SAT Math Level 1. If you need online tutoring, tests, worksheets, quizzes, solution PowerPoints, PowerPoints, or video, email me here. <clears throat> 3.11 Graphing Linear Systems, Part 1 here. We got 26 points of a note taking. We got a skill sheet. We don't have a skill sheet on this lesson, specific lesson. Overview of this section. And if two lines intersect in the XY plane, then their point of intersection represents the solution to the system of equations. The set of all points satisfying the inequality lie on one side of the line called a half plane. When a system of linear inequalities is graphed in the xy plane, the solution set is a region over which the solution half planes of the individual inequalities overlap. So when you have a complex solution there. Systems of linear equations, the two systems of linear equations graphed in the xy plane, and there are three possibilities to consider. The lines intersect, the coordinates of the point of intersection represents a solution to the linear system. The linear system here consists of two lines with different slopes and as a result intersect in single by both equations. So that was an example there of a graph intersecting. And then the lines, if the lines do not intersect, as in a linear system here, because they both had the same slope, the system has no solution since there is no point common to both lines. Like here, here's an example of a linear system with no solution. So the lines coincide. x minus y equals 3, 2x minus 2y equals 6 consists of two lines that coincide with one equation and multiple of each other. And they also have the same y-intercept. Because they're the same line, basically, they're infinite solutions. For that one, possible solutions to a linear system, one solution, no solution, infinite, I mean, solutions. One solution is an intersection, <clears throat> no solution is when they're parallel, infinitely many is when they're the same line. <clears throat> so here is an example here of a system. In a system of linear equations above, k is a constant. If a solution has no solution, what is the value of k? has no graphs of the equations are parallel. So we got to find uh, M a, y equals mx plus b, where m is the same for both. So if, if 2 thirds x minus 1 half y equals 7, then, one half, then negative 1 half y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 7. So y equals 4 thirds x minus 14. That's the one put into uh, slope intercept. So for kx, kx minus 6y equals 4. Then we solve for y here. We get this on this side. It's in slope-intercept form. Since parallel lines have equal slopes, 4 thirds equals k over 6, so 3k equals 24. And k equals 24 over 3 equals 8. So the value of k would be 8 in this case here. Graphing a linear inequality, so we're going to graph this inequality here. These are inequality symbols. This is a broken line, so it's like a an imperfect inequality written like this here. It doesn't have an equal sign underneath it. Dotted line for if after solving for y in terms of x, inequality is this or that, then the solution lies above the boundary line. If the inequality relation is this way, pointing the other way, uh, the solution region lies below the boundary line. Since this is a less than, it comes and it becomes this here, and the inequality is less than, the solution region lies below the line. It, it's a less than, so it lies below. System of linear inequalities. Now, in this case, the solutions will overlap. These two uh, inequalities here. Here's one y equals x plus one. And since it's less than or equal to, the line is solid. This one will have a dotted line. 
consists of all the points. Here is the dotted line here. Y equals negative one half X plus four. This is the line here. So when you blend these two together, these two solutions here, so solution right here for that system of inequalities, where the two solutions, and that was the overlap there. Here's the solution. You can also determine which of the four regions represents solution set by picking a point in each region and testing whether it makes both the inequalities true. So we're going to test the inequality. 6, 2 is true for this one. And then 6, 2 for this other one is true as well. So this would be the solution. So that was 3.11 of SAT, SAT Math Level 1 prep. Email me. Thank you.